Uh, gave a, a haunting smile. I used to be beaten. Tea was brewing in a small hollow near the track. Several of the squad were standing guard. No one liked the idea of men in dark clothes sneaking around. Mug of Saloop, said Shufty, holding one up. A few days ago they'd have called it Sweet Milk Tea, but even if they couldn't walk the walk, yet they were determined to talk the talk as soon as possible. What's happening? said Polly. Dunno, said Shufty. Sergeant Rupert went off over that way with the prisoner, but no one tells us groans anything. It's grunts, I think, said Wazza, taking the tea. I've done them a couple of mugs anyway. See what you can find out, eh? Polly gulped her tea down, grabbed the mugs and hurried away. On the edge of the hollow, Maledix was lounging against a tree. There was this about vampires. They could never look scruffy. Instead, they were... What was the word? Deshabillé. It meant untidy, but with bags and bags of style. In this case, Maledict's jacket was open, and he'd stuck his packet of cigarettes in the band of his shako. He saluted her with his crossbow as she went past. Oz, he said. Yes, sir. Any coffee in their bags? Sorry, Corp, only tea. Dad, Maledict thumped the tree behind him. Hey, you went straight for the man who was swallowing the cipher. Straight for him. How come? Just luck, said Polly. You're right. Try again. I have very good night vision. Oh, all right. Well, the one on the left started to run, and the one in the middle was dropping the clax tube and reaching for his sword. But the one on the right thought that putting something in his mouth was more important even than fighting or running away. Satisfied? You worked all that out in a couple of seconds. But that was smart. Yeah, right. Now, please forget it, OK? I don't want to be noticed. I don't particularly want to be here. I just want to find my brother, okay? Fine. I just thought that you'd like to know someone saw.